And we're back, and here is Landcross in his uh, combined mode, only missing the blue um, crotch plate, I'll call it. Uh, and that's because it's somewhere up in my room, and I can't remember where it's gone. It's fall It f fell off the figure, so this could be anywhere. As you can see, there's already a couple of problems. Because of the weight of these legs, they droop a bit. Uh, so again, you've got a crazy little drunken dance you can do with him. Uh, and his arm as well here is a bit loose and flops down. Um, all in all, he's quite a nice combiner. He does have some interesting movement, like his arm bends up, only to there because obviously these bits are in the way and they uh, sort of bend at the elbow. So you know, you can get some average poses and they twist as well, which is nice. But that is apparently the proper way of having it. But if you bend it like that, I've just noticed it stays in place. So uh, You can move the shoulders as well slightly. And get some slightly different poses out of him. Uh, and the legs twist forward and back. But obviously only to a certain point. And it's probably best not to fiddle with him because I'm going to assume that he'd fall over quite easily because of all this crap. I'm just just mal managing to balance him quite well. He's got some nice fa uh, face fa facial detail, and if you can imagine this being an orange car and this being orange as well, he's quite a colourful one as well, which is quite nice. You don't get many colour well, I suppose you get quite a few colourful combiners, but not quite as colourful as this. You could call him the rainbow combiner if you like, because of all the different colours splashed on him. Uh, again, like I said. Uh, all of his guns combine into one massive gun, and to go along with that, he has two fist cannons as well. The the only problem with the fists, because they're plug-in ones, they obviously twist around, but for this one anyway, it can fall out a bit too easily. So we'll push that back in, and hope for the best. Um, what else can I say about him? No, no twisting in the head at all, that is it. That's it for uh, movement. He's quite a nice character. I'm not sure whether he's worth the hundred or so pounds you'd need to buy for the original. That's why I was happy enough getting the reissue because I knew I'd be saving myself at least eighty pounds, probably more than that actually. Uh, and Lion Cross is quite a rare figure, I think. I haven't seen many reviews on him. I've seen a couple of knockoff reviews for him, but this is not a knockoff. I can assure you that. Uh, Multi Force. If you like combiners. It might be worth it if we compare him to Abominus. He's only just smaller than Abominus, but he's he's about the same width. So you know, if you like combiners, you're probably going to be looking at the same kind of size, uh, and you know the same problems that uh, all combiners have. Uh, always looking better in the combined mode, not so good when they're on their own. But saying that, them having three modes realistically, a vehicle mode, uh, a robot mode, and a bigger robot mode is a nice feature. Uh, so I would definitely recommend Lion Cross I suppose. Uh, and we'll move on to the detail part of the video and then that should be it. I hope this has satisfied uh, people and maybe made you want to get a Lion Cross. So we'll get on to the final bit of this uh, video review. And here is Landcross, uh, close-ups of him. As you can see, quite a nice looking face. Uh, the difference between this and the Black Barian is the, uh, this part of his face here is instead of silver, it's just a grey colour. Which, you know. Chest area is quite nicely detailed. It's got some good detail on it. I'll just pull the camera out a bit. Uh, look over at the fists. That again is obviously meant to be a orangey colour. Pull out some more. So you know, you can see he's quite a nice figure. That is where he's missing a piece. That would go over the the, the groin piece would go over both of the wheels there. Which makes him look a lot better, trust me. Uh problem I suppose you could say is if you compare his legs there, and you pan it up. Compare it to the rest of his body, he's quite skinny, but if you've seen the, the series of uh, Victory, you'll know that Landcross is not one of the B 
beefy uh, kind of transformers. So yeah, uh, that is Land Cross. Not a bad figure. Not amazing though. Um, I'd recommend getting the reissue if you can, or maybe even a knockoff if they're good. But I wouldn't know about knockoffs. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys late uh, tomorrow. Uh, I've got another review um, request to do, and I can't remember who it is off the top of my head. But until tomorrow, see you guys.